Hi everyone, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. Currently rolling out to 365 subscribers is another new function, the drop function. Let me show you how it works. The drop function excludes a specified number of rows or columns from either the start or end of a range. So here I have the latest English soccer Premier League standings, but this could be any kind of data, sales, HR, financial, anything. Over in columns K to R, I want to display the same data, but I want to exclude the top six teams. And the data is stored in an Excel table named teams. So in K2, I will put equals drop open brackets. The drop function requires two parameters. There is a third optional one, but it requires two parameters minimum. The first parameter is the range that contains the data. So in this case, I can use the name of the table. The second parameter is the number of rows that we want to exclude, which in this case is six. And what we see is we see the data from columns A to H, but without the first six rows. When the data in columns A to H is updated or the teams change positions in the list, the list in columns K to R updates automatically. Now, what if the data isn't stored in a table? Well, if that's the case, then just exclude the row with the headings. So over in K2, I'll put equals drop open brackets and select A2 to H21 as the array or range, comma, and six as the number of rows I want to exclude. And I get the same results. Now I want to display the league table without the bottom three teams. And these teams are in the relegation places. So in K2, equals drop open brackets, specify the name of the table, but because I want to exclude the last three rows, I put minus three. And that gives me all the rows except the last three. Here, I want to display all the rows, but I want to exclude the last three columns. And for this demo, the data is in a table called Teams1. So I'll put equals drop, open brackets, Teams1, comma, now I want all the rows, so I don't specify anything as that parameter, but because I need to specify something for the columns parameter, I need to put another comma, and then the number of columns will be minus three because I want to exclude the last three columns. So you can see now that it's displayed all the rows, but without goals scored, goals conceded and points. Now, finally, what if the data wasn't sorted in the order you wanted? So here, the data, which is in a table called Teams 2, is shown alphabetically by team name. But I want to display the data sorted in points order, highest to lowest, and exclude the top six rows. Now, when I say exclude the top six rows, I don't mean alphabetically. I don't mean exclude Arsenal through to Chelsea. I mean exclude the top six rows based on the points. To do this, I'll combine the drop function with the sort function. So equals drop, open brackets, and then sort, open brackets, teams two, comma, eight, because I'm sorting based on the eighth column, comma, and descending and then specify the number of rows, which is six. So what I'm saying is drop six rows from the sorted array, teams two, sorting in descending order based on the eighth column. So that's the new drop function. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe for more. If you've got any suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comments. I also have a free weekly newsletter packed with tips to help you become more productive in Excel. And you can sign up for that at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.